All right, I want to watch this video with Little Cuete, what he does. He calls out Mr. Criminal from Crime Family, ENT. I want to watch it, and I want to get your guys' opinions on whether Cuete is wrong or if Criminal is wrong. But first, let's watch it. Let's let it replay a few times, and then we can actually comment on the video itself right so let's go ahead and watch this real quick and then you guys let me don't say that i didn't get at you personally because i did everybody knows that i did come on man let's run these ones what they said yo criminal this message is for you stop ducking the fade homeboy because i ain't stopping until you run the ones or you announce a public apology for talking behind my back trying to make money off of me getting me into beef with other men talking to Man, you know what you did, bro. Come correct, because I ain't gonna stop until you Damn, son, where'd you find this? I left messages, so don't say that I didn't get at you personally, because I did. Everybody knows that I did. Come on, man, let's run these ones. What they said. Yo, criminal, this message is for you. Stop ducking the fade, homeboy, because I ain't stopping until you run the ones or you announce a public apology for talking behind my back, trying to make money off of me. Getting me into beef with other men talking to man, you know what you did, bro. Come correct, cause I ain't gonna stop until you do. Just know that. I called you ten times this morning. I left messages, so don't say that I didn't get at you personally, cause I did. Everybody knows that I did. Come on, man, let's run these ones. All right, to so everybody in the chat, let me know who's wrong. Now look, I'm gonna give you my my thoughts. Right, I feel like Quete. Going on to the Miss Cr Miss Fuck Quete going on to the Mr. Criminal podcast should have knew what the podcast game is about, right? Going up to someone's podcast, it might make you look good, it might make you look bad, depending on what the subjects you're talking about, depending on who the podcaster is, depending on, on the circumstances, right? But I think he should have been aware, like, if I go up to the podcast, it might create controversy, right? But I also understand Cuete, I mean, I understand Criminal talking about peace and unity, but then pushing questions that cause drama. Maybe Cuete went up there thinking oh criminal's my homie me and criminal are cool we don't have no issues so he's not gonna get me in the wreck he's gonna ask me questions about my music he's gonna ask me questions about rap so he went up there trusting criminal and then criminal snaked them with the little rap questions and then Quete felt obligated to answer so you could look at it both ways. You could look at it like Cuete should have knew better and not answered. And then you can also look at it like criminal baited him. Right? So it goes both ways. But where you draw the line is criminal acting like nothing is happening. That tells you a lot. Right? Right? Because if you felt like you did nothing wrong, you would actually respond and say, you know what, I'm sorry you feel that way. I thought we were cool. But when you do a podcast, a lot of times you get asked questions you don't want to answer. So I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, but we either got to fix this or both move on. So by not responding... And not answering, Mr. Criminal looks guilty. He looks guilty of something or either he's trying to come up with a strategic plan to go against Cuete, right? Either he's planning something right now or he's afraid. It's only one or the other. It's nothing in between, bro. Either he's making phone calls to everybody or he's trying to ignore it because he's afraid. It's only one or the other. 
But regardless, I feel like he should have maybe answered it. But then again, I, I can't say like what he should have done because he's he's a man. He can do whatever he wants, right? But they were friends, so it's very easy to pick up the phone and say, "Hey, we're cool." Like, like what's the issue, right? Criminal is plotting, probably, bro. He's been quiet, so you don't. Right now, maybe he's plotting on his revenge versus everybody. Maybe that's what he's doing. You know, but then again, remember Cuete came up here or he called up here and he said, right, he said that uh, he don't have a problem talking about Little Rob. He didn't have a problem saying whatever he said to uh, about Little Rob or Little One, whatever. He said the problem came in when criminal asked him the questions, Cuete answered, Fuck little Rob, whatever, whatever. And then criminal went and started talking to these people trying to bridge the gap, right? Like, like, hey, can little Robin and uh and Quete be cool? Like, we don't want problems, we don't want no we want to make the world a nice place again. We want to hold hands. And then Quete's looking over Quete's over there standing like what the fuck? Weren't we on the fuck Little Rob train? And now you're over there trying to sing Kumbaya without asking me? Why wouldn't you ask me first if I wanted to sing Kumbaya with you? Why would you speak for me? Right? So I get it. I get it. I get it. And I really feel like if that's the case. I really feel like if that's the case. Criminal should have hit up Quetta like, "Hey, dog, I'm gonna call people and I'm gonna try to, uh, uh, I'm gonna try to bring peace between us because we don't need this drama. Whatever happened on the podcast happened, but we're gonna try to kill it. But if you didn't make that phone call to Quetta and you're over here speaking on his behalf, it sort of makes you look like you're over there trying to start problems and then fix the problems. Like, which one is it, dog?" Like, pick one. You can't have it both ways, homie. You know? Bro, you guys don't recall the video? What video was it? It was Bozo. Bozo was up there with Mr. Criminal having a podcast, right? And Mr. Criminal started to talk about LA Icon. Knowing that Bozo don't get along with LA Icon, right? Hey, Bozo, what do you think about LA Icon? Do you like him? Knowing they don't get along. What does Bozo do? Fuck LA Icon. You know, blah, 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 blah. Right? And then what does Criminal say right after? Oh, I'll get him on the phone right now. Do you, do you guys want to be cool? Do you guys want to be cool? Because we need to stop this negativity. So I can call him if you want to be cool with him. And Bozo sits there and he was like, Nah, I don't need you to call him. But how weird, right? That if you want to bring positivity, why are you going to ask this man about his op? Why not after the show? After the show, be like, Hey, Bozo, I can make that call right now with an icon and we can squash it. Why allow Bozo to crash out? And then want to look like you're fixing the things. Nah, bro, that just, that just seems off to me. That just seems off to me. It's like me going to the criminal podcast and talking about, hey, hey, Blue Devil, how do you feel about tranzas? And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to tell you, man, fuck that fool, blah, blah, blah. And then criminal goes, hey, you want me to call him to fix it? What the fuck? Why would you bring it up? Why would you bring it up? Why not hit me up and be like, hey, I don't I know you don't get along with this guy, but I could fix it right now for you. Why ask me my thoughts on the guy to stir it up and then ask me if I want to create peace? What the like nah, no, that shit to me. That's dirty, homie. That's why when I ask a guy like like hey fool, you got beef with this guy? I'ma just ask you about the beef. I don't give a fuck if you make up or not. 
make up or don't make up, I don't give a fuck. That ain't for me. That ain't my problem. That's your problem. You know? I'm just an interview guy. I'm just an interview guy. He wants to be the one that says, I made it happen. Facts. That's what it is. And they caught up with him. Somebody, everybody's telling me they don't get notified, right? So you'd have to go to the page, unsubscribe, resubscribe, and hit the bell. Or unclick the bell and then click the bell again. You feel me? So just go to the bell. Watch. Let me show you. Let me show you. All right, so look. Look, just go to the bell where it says subscribe, click on it, and click all. All right, click all. That's probably where your problem is coming at. Click all. Because every time YouTube does updates, it will stop you from being notified. So make sure you go over to the page and then click on the subscribe button and make sure that the bell says all. Not personalized, not none. Make sure it says all. All right. With that being said, how do you guys feel about this criminal in Cuete? Do you think they should just fight and get it over with? Or do you think they should just leave it alone? Salute to Toronto. Toronto in the building. All right, look. Yeah, fool, I didn't get notified today either. Bro, I, I hit the live, and it literally took like five minutes for people to join. I'm like, what the fuck? But we have 550 people watching, you know? It seems like criminal has a history of doing shady shit than dodging people. Hey, I've heard a few things, but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to speak on what I've heard because, you know, it's just he say, she say. I can only speak on my personal experience and those that we get to see on the internet, you know. Uh, the Cuete one is visible for all of us to see, so we can all comment on it like normal people. We don't even have to comment on it like gang-related people or street people, we're just commenting, you know, from a third party perspective, hate it or love it, you know, but it is what it is, fuck it, enough with Mr. Criminal, 